Jane Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to do a plantain tea review. So I wanted to start a new series on this vlog where I make and review different jersey t-shirt patterns. I've realised in my stash I've got quite a few different ones and actually I wanted something that I could do as part of a series where I could show you different hacks for them, where I can show you the ones I've made um, and maybe some tutorials within that as well. So this is going to be going on each month, maybe one or two videos a month and I'll just show you some different patterns and show you what I've made with them and maybe how I've hacked them or altered the neckline and things like that as well. So the plantain tea is a free pattern that you can get from the Deer and Doe website. So if I will link that below so you can go in and download your own version. As many people are, I'm on the hump for the perfect t-shirt, one that fits me really well and it's really easy to sew and works in a range of different fabrics. So this is the plantain tee. So it's just a standard t-shirt with a neckband and it can have short sleeves or longer sleeves and comes with an elbow patch addition as well. It is a looser fitting tee, so it's not supposed to be tight to the body. It's fitted around the shoulders and bust, but then flares out slightly. And you are supposed to make it in a lightweight jersey with 40 to 50% stretch. So you can find different jerseys that suit that. So I first came across this when I saw it on Instagram. I kept seeing different versions of it, and so I thought I'd investigate a little bit further. And I'm really glad I did because I came across a really good free t-shirt pattern. And actually, um, I find the few ones I've made really lovely to wear. And actually, it's really easy to put together and make. So each time I've made it, I have made the same adjustments. So on each one, I have adjusted the neckline. So it's supposed to have quite a low neckline and I have adjusted that a little bit higher on every version and then just adjusted the neckband uh, length to accommodate for that. Uh, but other than that, I haven't made any adjustments to it. Each time I've made it, I have made the short sleeved version and I've made one three quarter length sleeve version of the pattern, but I haven't ever tried the elbow patch yet. The size I make is the size 42, which does have a little bit of negative ease in the bust, but then fits um, on my waist and hips. And I have made it in a range of different fabrics. I've tried a cotton jersey and a viscose jersey as well. I found that actually the one I prefer is the viscose jersey one just because that drape really helps actually show my body shape as well. Um, just preference wise. The cotton jersey ones are really lovely but just because that jersey is a little bit thicker um, on the ones that I've used actually I feel that it ends up looking a little bit bulkier on me uh, which I don't prefer but still I do wear those t-shirts and I have worn them quite a few times as well. So the instructions wise it's really easy to put together sewing the shoulder seams, adding the neckband, sewing in the sleeves and then stitching down the sides before finishing the hem and the sleeve hems as well. So quite a simple make. I would imagine you could make it in about one to two hours depending on how experienced you are. But definitely if this is your first venture into Jersey then it would be a really good one to try. The neckband actually really fits easily even though I made the adjustments um, and it's just a simple make. I didn't have any I didn't have any problems when making any of my plantain teas. Um, they just went really smoothly uh, and it was a really pleasant make. I am planning to make a few more of these as casual t-shirts for the weekend, but I'm definitely going to try and go for some viscose jerseys this time just because I prefer the look of that in the end. So the adjustment I make is just to the front piece. So this is the front piece here, and you've got the sleeve side bit here and then you've got the neck piece here now if i just kind of lay it on me so here you can see the neckline comes down to here which for me once you add the neckband seems to be a little bit too low compared to what i want so what i do is heighten the neckband now i don't want to increase the size of the width here actually that works really well for me so all you're doing is adjusting this bit here so simply what i do is when i lie this onto the fabric i didn't make a separate pattern piece when i lie this onto the fabric i simply cut the fabric 
following the curve from here and just bringing it across here and then that brings the neckline of it up just slightly and then you just need to shorten the neckband slightly to work for that uh, and I do that by just cal measuring and calculating 85% and then cutting my neckband to that. I am going to do a proper tutorial on that and um, that will be coming up soon. So my versions. So this was the first one that I made and I will include pictures of me wearing these uh, in the video as well. So this is in a cotton jersey that I got from Satisfaction. It's got this beautiful marl um, effect and it is quite a thick cotton jersey but you can see the neckband went in really nicely very little gathering there this was before I had my overlocker I have actually added top stitching around the neck again the sleeves really fit in nicely um, you insert them flat which is a lot easier and then it's hemmed really neatly as well the length of this t-shirt is perfect for me so I just follow the length of the t-shirt as well so that's my first version that I made the next version I made was this one so this is the three-quarter sleeve version and this is in a cotton jersey I think that I got from girl Charlie and it's just really lovely bright blue colour and I just wanted to try out the longer sleeve version. For some reason the neckband didn't go in as well on this one, it is slightly more ruffled which I don't mind too much um, but it's just worth me checking that again next time. I have just done top stitching so just normal straight stitching along the neckband and again it's the normal length. I actually cut this one a little bit too short um, so I found that it's a little bit uh, shorter but actually it's okay because I usually wear a vest top underneath it anyway uh, so that's my second version my third version is slightly different so I wanted to use up some fabric scraps with this version so the front of the t-shirt is this really beautiful jersey from Stoff and Steel and this is a viscose jersey and I also managed to get the sleeves out of it and the neckband the only difference is is the back is just plain navy uh, cotton jersey that I just got from Fabricland. Excuse the cat hair as the addition to every make it seems. Um, I'm really pleased with this version, this is my favourite version. The neckband seems to go in a lot more smoothly just because the additional stretch of the viscose, it hangs really nicely I feel. Um, and just fits really nicely as well and was a really good way of using up some fabric scraps so I had a piece that was basically big enough for the front of a t-shirt but not enough for a whole t-shirt but actually I think it looks fine you've got the neckband going all the way round I mean you could do con you could do the front and back in the same fabric and then contrast sleeves and neckband um, you could add an additional band to the sleeves and things there's lots of things that you can do but actually, this is a t-shirt that I've worn quite a bit already. It just made a lot of sense to me to add a plain back onto it. Um, so you're really pleased with that one. And I do have a few more of these kind of ones lined up to make with the viscose jersey. The last version is this one. And this is still wet. I've got it off of the clothes, Zara. Um, so this is in a really beautiful fabric from Louboudou Fabrics. And it's a cotton jersey, really nice um, high quality jersey. And I cut the sleeves on this one a little bit shorter um, than the other versions. And I have slightly tapered in the waist. This is the first t-shirt that I made on the overlocker although I wasn't confident enough to add the neckband on with the overlocker which actually I have um, done now but if you notice the inside here it has been done with the overlocker as well as the side seams so but just not the neckband um, yeah I wasn't quite confident enough to sew in the round and risk cutting it I was quite scared about that so really pleased with that version as well um, I wore this on Christmas Day with my snowflake cardigan and I have worn it again since because actually although it's got um, trees on it, actually that could go for any time of the year. So really nice make and I actually really like that it's a lighter base colour. A lot of my clothes do have a dark navy blue base colour and so actually I'm really pleased um, with that one so I can wear like a darker colour cardigan with it. 
So that is all my plantain tees. Uh, it is a really lovely pattern for a looser fit t-shirt. It fits me on the shoulders really well and so I'm really pleased with that because actually a lot of patterns that I make I have to make shoulder adjustments and I don't have to on the plantain tee. So I am definitely going to check out some of the other Deer and Doe patterns just because I feel like their block would suit me quite well just based on that the design of that t-shirt. My next pattern that I'm going to be reviewing for this jersey top series is the Freya top by Tilly and the Buttons. I only started making it in the beginning of February and I've already made three versions including this version um, and I'm really pleased with them so that will be the next one and I will show you my different versions of that and do a pattern review as well. I will include in that video how I've hacked the neckline because um, a lot of people have been asking about that when I post on Instagram because it normally has a higher band on the neck which I just feel isn't so good for me so I will be showing you that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any comments about the video, the plantain tea, or any other jersey tops that you would like me to review, then just comment them below. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.